Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on the fast math assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. These videos are short, they're sweet, they're to the point. And at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can access more in-depth videos to make math your jam. Are you ready to see what our focus is this week? Let me get a drum roll. It's editing task choice. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem of the week. So it says complete the statement to correctly decompose the number 713,456. Okay, decompose. That word is a fancy word for break down. Okay, we're gonna take that number that I just read to you and we're going to break that down. Down here, it says 713,456, again, can be decomposed or broken down as, and down below we have our editing task choice. Basically what you would see on your computer-based test, you would see squares like this, rectangles like this, okay? And when you click, this little drop down button, it would drop down your answer choices down below. So we're just imagine that we've clicked that drop down menu and we're gonna go ahead and select the answer, okay? So I'm seeing here that we've got 71, and then is it 71, 10 thousands, thousands, or hundreds? We have the digit three, 45, and six. So I see that we might be looking at more than one digit and deciding what place that would be in to, to successfully decompose this number. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right over here to this part of our number, 713,456. And what I'm going to do is just label my places first, okay? I'm seeing that place value is involved here. So the digit six is in the ones place. The next digit, five, is in what place? The tens. The four is in the hundreds place. And that is the ones period, okay? And then we go over into the next period, the thousands period. So that digit three is in the one thousands place. Then the digit one is in the ten thousands place. And the digit seven is in the hundred thousands place. That is how I break it down so I don't have to write the whole thing out. And again, this is the thousands period over there, okay? All right, so now that we're looking at that, if you need to pause the video to copy that down, you surely can. I'm gonna go ahead and just move on, so pause it if you need to. And I see over here, again, coming back over here, we have don't circle that, but we have 71. So what I'm going to do is look at that 71 right here, okay? 71, and when I'm looking at 71, that one lands in the 10 thousands place. So this could be decomposed as 71 10 thousands. So is that an answer choice? It is right here. So with this being a computer-based test, you would go ahead and click that first one, okay? And then it would actually, I believe it would put your answer right up here, 71, 10, that was, so I'm not gonna be able to fit it into the box, but you understand. You might want to, for this one, go ahead and just circle that if you don't have a highlighter. But again, you would highlight it by clicking it on that computer-based test. Now let's move on to that digit three, okay? That single dig digit three right here is in the one thousands place. So when we're looking at three thousand, three hundreds, or three tens, the best choice would be three thousands. The value of that three would be three thousand. So again, I would click this answer choice, and hopefully by clicking that, it would go ahead and put my answer into that gray box. If you're using paper and pencil right now, you can go ahead and just circle that, that's fine too. All right, now 45. 45 right here, okay, 45, that digit five is in what place? The tens place, right? So it would be 45 tens. Is that an answer? Yeah. So we would go ahead and we would click this if it were a computer-based test. 
but because we're probably practicing with paper and pencil, we'll go ahead and just circle that one right there. And finally with the six, the six is in which place? The ones place, right? So which one is that? It is the last one right here. You would click that, it would generate your answer right in there. But since we're practicing with paper and pencil, we'll go ahead and circle it, okay? So that is how you would solve a problem like this. All right, fourth grade, that is your Fast Math freebie of the week. Now this is a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out those links for some more information. Cool? Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident at something, you have to put the practice in. You've got to throw down your very best effort. I believe in you, and I'll see you next time, world changers.